Who is the greatest basketball player of all time? The age old question that still lives on till this day. I think that most people would say that it's Michael Jordan. But you have LeBron fans that swear it's him. You have old heads that say Kareem was better than anybody that ever lived. You have Kobe fans that will live and die on that hill that he is the greatest player of all time. I am one of those people. Problem with that is bias comes into effect. It could be your favorite player growing up, the best player from your era. It could be a mixtape that you saw six years ago and you determined that that was your GOAT. Today, we're eliminating all of that. No bias, no mixtapes. Today, I'm taking the best 16 players of all time and putting them in a 1v1 tournament to truly find out who is the greatest player of all time. The first matchup we have is Michael Jordan versus Dr. J with games being up to seven and the final going up to 11 points. Michael Jordan gets the ball first. This would be by far the biggest upset. MJ ended up losing in the first round. Michael Jordan gets stopped, puts up, he misses, grabs the rebound. Okay, MJ gets it back. Puts it up, 1-0 Mike. But Dr. J would do the same thing, grab his own rebound and tie it up. Rebound is 1-1. But here's one of many reasons why MJ's a favorite in this tournament. Watch this! As he said, I'm not losing this. Get posterized. Michael Jordan was non-stop dunking all over Julius serving, doing his best to advance to the second round. He has post takeover. He just blows by. MJ, that's game. It's win by two. Never mind. It is win by two. Okay. MJ, you need a stop here, baby. And with one stop needed, Julia Serving was not giving up that easy. MJ, MJ, you just got posterized. But MJ would not stop going right at Dr. J. Julia Serving. He just got his ankles broken. Michael Jordan with the green, with the mid range, shook his ankles. I was nasty. End the game, Mike. End the game. Michael Jordan, you are so clutch. Michael Jordan ends the game, pointing to the stands. Finally. He moves on to the second round. Next up, we have Prime LeBron versus Prime Magic Johnson. And I chose Heat LeBron because he has by far the best defense out of any version. Magic has a chance. He's 6'9", but LeBron's got great defense. That's good defense from... That's good defense from LeBron, man. LeBron having better strength and speed than Magic, use that to his advantage. LeBron to the rack. one nothing. Come on, LeBron. This is the best version of LeBron on defense. And he's getting blown by. Thank you, man. LeBron is a great defender. LeBron James, you're too fast. You're too fast. You're too strong. You're just better at basketball than Magic Johnson. Five to four. LeBron just needs to lock in, get one stop, and grab the rebound. LeBron just needs a board. That's his problem. There's your stop. There's your board. LeBron, this is where you end the game. This is where you end the game. To the rack. LeBron James, baby. Sit down, Magic. For game point, LeBron would get blocked, but he would get it back and put it back in. Thank you. LeBron James. Moves on to the second round. Next matchup, 97 overall Curry, 97 overall Oscar. I know 99% of the people watching this video don't want Curry to lose. And with Curry already down 2-0 to start the game, he pulled a three-pointer. Just shooting it right away, and he makes it! Why not? Anytime Curry was down two or more points, he would immediately pull a three. That was money. Curry Green's at 4-4. Four four. So anytime Oscar Robertson's getting a lead, Curry's gonna hit those threes. But he's gotta get a stop, though. If he gets a stop, Curry's got this in the bag. That's the big question, though, right? Can Curry... Clutch up on the defensive end and get a stop. Oscar just blows by him. Curry having the worst defense in the tournament was not helping him, which isn't helping his case. Oscar goes for the hook. Curry's down two again, and he chooses to shoot another three-pointer. He's gonna miss it. Curry, I love you, man, but I think you're eliminated. With one stop needed, Curry had to clutch up on defense. Oscar goes to the rack, ends the game. Steph Curry is eliminated. We have what I think is the best matchup of the first round. 98 overall Kobe Bryant versus 97 overall Kevin Durant on the Warriors. And KD would right away use his height advantage and body Kobe all the way to the rack, pushing him out the way. Kobe ended up missing his shot. Kevin Durant would get it and pull a limitless range three. Kevin Durant just shoots it. Okay. Curry, shoot the midi, you can go to the rack. Hey, KD's not stopping that, baby. Come on. KD's going for the post, man. Stop posting up, you annoying computer. No. This is where my bias is coming in. I want Kobe to win, man. Kobe, all the way to the rack. Hey, God, Kobe no. missed that. What? After missing a wide open layup, Kobe would choose the hard route and go right at KD. It's an NBA. Kobe with the spin. Kobe with the tough take. That is Kobe Bryant if I've ever seen it, man. Kobe not having the height to match KD would drive to the rim and get the dunk, but it wouldn't be enough. And I have a really bad feeling that KD's gonna go to the rack here. That's great defense. Doesn't matter. Kobe is eliminated. It's about time we get a little bit bigger, and I don't mean downstairs. Moving up to big man, Moses Malone versus Kareem. And to a surprise, Moses Malone would start the game with two fadeaways and be up 2 nothing. Post. Another post fadeaway for Moses. And that's another green. Moses is exposing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar? Question mark? Kareem, you need a bucket here, big fella. He finally gets his first basket. It's 3-1. to one. It was 4-2, to two and Moses wouldn't stop bullying Kareem. 
He's out here bodying Kareem. He's got takeover on Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But right when Kareem needed a clutch stop, Moses posted him up with takeover, but Kareem was having none of it. Oh my god, this is insane. Kareem gets the quick bucket. He just snatch blocked him in midair. Kareem gets the block and it goes out of bounds on Moses. Kareem goes to the rack, gets his own rebound, six to five. Moses Malone is choking a three to one lead. It would be a crazy comeback for Kareem and he would shoot a fadeaway mid range for game. What the? What? Kareem moves on. Battle of the 60s. Will Chamberlain, Bill Russell, it's time to see who wins. Now, Bill Russell started off this game with a quick dunk over Will Chamberlain. Bill Russell gets the first basket of the game, though. Will Chamberlain will follow right back and get his own bucket on offense. But Bill Russell was saucing him up, crossing him, and going all the way for the dunk. He even started to shimmy on him. Bill Russell had this in the bag. Please, you went to the rack so many times. Thank you. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Thank you, Bill! 20 minutes for one game. Bill Russell moves on. 98 Bird, 98 Duncan. Let's go. Much like Steph Curry, Larry Bird, when he was down, would always shoot a three-pointer. We're just shooting it every single time. He's cashing it in. Okay, Larry. The next play, Larry would go to his mid-range, pull up, and cash it in. I knew. I knew that was going to go in. But Larry Bird, just like Steph, had a lot of problems on defense, and he couldn't stop Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan's going all the way here. Yep, yep. Damn it, man. 98 overall Milk Dud versus 98 overall Nigerian, man. Let's get this started. I feel like I got Hakeem in this. Hakeem would start off the game showing off his defense, blocking Shaq on the first play of the game. <laughs> AB has one already. And he would go right to the post the next play. You gonna hit with the Dream Shake, baby? Dream Shake. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> hit with the post fade. Come on. Turn him around. Or that. Ow, stop. Hakeem Olajuwon is that guy, man. Shaq, you're locked up, baby. No, sir. Okay. Shaq's got that little hook down. It was 6-5. to five. Hakeem had a chance to game it, and he went for the post hook. Money. Money. Hakeem moves on to the second round. That's the first round completed. This is how the bracket looks now after the losers have been eliminated. Also, I'm trying to do 200K, so subscribe if you're new. It's free. First matchup of the second round, we got Michael Jordan versus Oscar Robertson. Let's get it. The only way I see Michael Jordan losing 1v1 would be because of height. That'd be the only reason. I think MJ's gonna demolish Oscar. And that theory proved to be correct. MJ would dominate Oscar. MJ can finally use his height to his advantage now, and he puts that in too. How? Oscar wasn't gonna give up without a fight though. He go all the way on MJ and get the deuce. He gets a bucket. How's your chance? MJ to the rack. MJ to the rack, baby! Michael Jordan was living up to the GOAT standards. Nobody could stop him. And on the other end, he would lock up Oscar and get the ball for the win. You just gotta go to the rack in that game. Michael Jordan pushed him down. MJ's moving on to the second round. Prime LeBron versus Prime KD. I got LeBron, even though I want KD to win, I got LeBron winning this. LeBron wouldn't waste any time, and he would attack KD right off the rim. Even though I want KD to win it, but we'll see. LeBron goes... That, that's Miami LeBron James for you. It was 1-0, and KD couldn't stop the freight train LeBron. Leaves him in the dust! 2-0 LeBron James! KD can shoot anything. KD's gonna go to the post. Why does KD keep going to the post? It goes in. It doesn't matter. Never mind. KD would go up for the lamp, and it would miss, and LeBron decided to turn into 2016 Steph Curry. Rebound. LeBron. LeBron's going for a three-pointer here. Fadeaway three-pointer, and it's good! LeBron James, 6-2. to two. After this, KD would go for a layup. It would go in, but it wasn't enough. LeBron would go all the way for the win. But LeBron's looking to end it, and that's game. LeBron's moving on comfortably. Kareem versus Timmy D to see who's on to the conference finals, and the first play of the game, Tim Duncan's locking up. He's got the ball. Now, I just don't see a world where Tim Duncan wins this game. Kareem would attack the smaller Tim Duncan every single play. He's just too big for Tim Duncan. He's too big. Kareem was feeling cocky enough. He would decide to do a floater over Tim Duncan. It was a heavily contested, and it would go in. And it went in. What? Why does Kareem have a floater tendency? Kareem had the ball for game, and the rest was history. As a finally, there's the skyhook. Finally. And he pulls it out for the gamer. He's going on to the conference finals to face Michael Jordan. Last matchup before the conference finals, we got Hakeem versus Bill Russell, the battle of the defensive gods. No offense, I don't want Bill Russell to move on though. I love Hakeem. I want Hakeem, hit him with the drop step. Big boy Hakeem, baby. Come on, man. Hakeem would hit Bill Russell with the dream shake, shoot the fade away, and it was money. That's money, baby. See, that's Hakeem's game too. Oh, nah. Hakeem is clearing everybody, man. Bill Russell gave it a good try, but he couldn't stop Hakeem's post work. Oh, he's doing the drop step. That's money. Hakeem Olajuwon is moving on. 99 overall Michael Jordan versus 99 overall Kareem Abdul-Jabbar in the Eastern Conference Finals. Here we go. I assume Kareem's gonna just post up a lot of the time. 
So I don't know how MJ is gonna pull us off. Kareem gets his first bucket, man. Ah! You know, MJ's gonna have to force Kareem to pick up his dribble. That's gonna be the key here. Michael Jordan going to the rack. Up take! And he finishes it on Kareem. The two legends would go basket for basket. Kareem getting his dunks and Michael Jordan getting his layups. Kareem. Kareem. Okay, that's what I'm talking about, Mike. Make him pick up his dribble, but you need that board. If you make him pick up his dribble, you just gotta box out. MJ in the biggest chance of the game had a chance to take a lead, and he missed it. Michael Jordan grabbed his own rebound, though. Michael Jordan. No, dude. Mike. But Kareem, he wasn't gonna miss his chance. Please, no, that's money. No. Uh, come on. Come on, come on, MJ. You're still in this, baby. Come on. With MJ down one point, he needed a bucket, but Kareem stopped him and forced him into a mid ring. MJ gets stopped. Oh, no. Oh, no, man. Oh, he's got takeover. No, man. No. Not Kareem. No. MJ had it, but he missed a mid-range, man. 99 Braun versus 99 Hakeem. I don't know who's gonna win this. Hakeem will put LeBron's defense to the test. I'm not even a fan of LeBron, but I got him. That's good defense, but that's Hakeem Olajuwon in the post. But LeBron was too quick for Hakeem to handle. LeBron is just doing an MJ right now. He's just blowing past Hakeem. LeBron using that strength forces Hakeem Olajuwon to a tough shot, and it misses, and LeBron James scrambles for the board. Not going to bounce. Good rebound, LeBron. LeBron's going all the way to the basket, baby! Come on, LeBron. I'm rooting for the smaller guys here. Smaller guys being six foot eight. LeBron having a chance to go up five to two, shoots a step back mid range over Hakeem Olajuwon, and it goes in. LeBron James couldn't be stopped. Step back mid range, LeBron with the mid range. LeBron cashes in the mid range. What do you got? Hakeem sidestep. He's got to shoot a mid range here. Doing the post work, pull up. No good. LeBron, you got to end this. Don't even play around with them. LeBron James to the basket. Seven to three dominates that tall Nigerian man. LeBron went seven for eight. We're at the finals. The game's at 2-11. We got LeBron versus Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. LeBron had the ball and had a chance to get an early lead. Finals goes up to 11, man. Finals goes up to 11. LeBron already starts off, but he misses that. But Kareem, just like with Michael, would not waste any chances that he got. I mean, man, he's 7-1. He, he green in that. He's 7-1 in the post. Kareem would use that height and poster LeBron James. Oh my. No matter who went up against Kareem, he was dominating everybody in the paint. LeBron, speed, speed, right past him again. LeBron, speed to the rack. Go, oh, I can't believe I'm saying that. Kareem, is he gonna skyhook him again? Step it. No way. No way, Kareem. Made. What? What? I've never seen something like that before. LeBron, LeBron to the basket. LeBron to the basket. No! LeBron! Good defense, Bron. Good defense, Bron. It's not good enough. It's not good enough. LeBron badly needed to stop, and Kareem was in the post. Are you gonna have? Are you gonna get it right there? You're gonna get it right there, LeBron. That's what I'm talking about, baby. LeBron, baby, come on. How does LeBron not have takeover? LeBron again with the speed. He's going for the poster, baby. Come on, LeBron. Bro, I'm getting so hyped. Give me a stop. Make him shoot. Give me a stop. Good defense. Good defense. Jump with them. Good jump. It went in. That went in. The kid from Akron wasn't giving up that easy, though. LeBron would blow by Kareem, go all the way for the slam, and tie it up at 10 apiece. Come on, bro, baby. LeBron, what you got, baby? LeBron, I, oh, man, I don't like this. What is he doing? LeBron, he's getting blocked. Do not. Do not jump. Do not jump. Kareem was playing good defense on LeBron, and he got stuck in the mid-range. I don't like that, Bron. Bron! I don't- Bron! You're gonna let Kareem win? Kareem only needed one point to game it. He had post takeover. It wasn't looking good for LeBron. No, that's game. That's game. No! <laughs> Kareem gets it done in crazy, crazy fashion. LeBron going 12 for 18 isn't enough as Kareem goes 14 for 18 and gets the win and gets crowned as the greatest player of all time with no bias included. These are the final rankings according to 2K. If you guys like this video, you guys will love me building LeBron James' dream team. You'll be surprised who he picked. Click it, it's right here.